Okay, so every morning, this is what I'm looking at while I'm brushing my teeth. All right, slow draining sink. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. As I just showed you, we've got a stopped up drain. Today, I'm gonna show you what went wrong with it, why you don't wanna install this type of plumbing, and then two different ways to actually fix it and make it good. So come along, let's get to fixing. All right, so if we take this right here off, this is actually how I drain this. And you can see this is not the cleanest, but it also is really not the reason why this is stopped up. I mean, it is slow draining because there's a little bit of nastiness on it. But, but if you look right down in that hole right there, you will see that that is stopping up. Okay. And there is a reason it is stopping up because you can see that it kind of goes down right there. And then you can see a ring a little bit further down in there. And I'll show you the reason why it's doing that. Okay, so you can see we've got an accordion style extension tube. It's not too far off, but this is definitely crooked. We're gonna get this hooked up. We're gonna make it straight. So the P-trap actually is still good. This is still gonna be good. We can reuse this. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna swap out this extension tube and we're going to fix this back here at this ABS pipe. Ah. These rings, they catch junk. And as it catch junk, it just builds up and builds up and builds up, okay? And that is exactly what this did on us, was just build and build and build until it built all the way up into my sink. Because you can see once you get down in the smooth area, there's not really so much. Okay, so now we'll take a couple of paper towels and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start jamming them down my sink in kind of a twisting motion, okay? We'll get that to where that started. You can push so far with your finger, but you're gonna want something long, a screwdriver or something. In my case, I actually grabbed a piece of PEX and I actually almost thought about using my wife's toothbrush, all right? <laughs> but I thought better of that. So now we'll just take this and just jam it down the hole and it's gonna clean everything out. There we go. And look at that. Now it's clean as can be. All right. So here's one other thing that these guys did. They hacksawed this and they never bothered to deburr it. You can see all that down there. That's not good. You could grab a pencil reamer. You could grab a little knife and just go around the edge of this. You could see that and just pop all that off of there. And you want that out of your way. If you didn't want to fuss with that, Grab your little trusty cutter, cut a little end off of that. So you could see how those little ridges right there without deburring that are gonna catch some serious junk too. All right, now we wanna take this piece off. This should just be hand tight as well. Just get that stuff out of there. Get out as much as you can, right? That's just gonna save you in the long run. And so as far as not cutting this, what we're gonna do here, this is actually an inch and a half iron pipe size male adapter. And we are gonna go to an inch and a half female adapter. And we're just gonna thread this right on there. Okay, so before we put that on, we're gonna go with a little Teflon and a little bit of Mega Lock. Okay, so you wanna go clockwise to put your Teflon on, at least three wraps with this stuff. Maybe you wanna go four or five. It's a little thin, a little mega lock. You don't have to use mega lock. This is just my preferred method. It's my dope of choice. So once you got that the whole way on, I would just snug it up. I'd use a backup pair of channel locks and then I would use the primary. And yes, these bad boys look brand new. 
They were a gift and they are awesome. I'll put a link in the description box. If you guys don't know about Kanipex, Kanipex, however you pronounce it, they are expensive, but they are awesome. All right, so now that we've got our female adapter put on here, this is actually a street fitting. We're gonna put on a 22, right? This is a 22 degree elbow. This is gonna give us just a little bit of a bend. We don't need a big one because it was just a little bit off and a 22 does that for us, right? And so when we put that on, we're gonna get just a little angle to go right to this pipe. And then lastly, we're actually going to use another street fitting. And this is going to be street by inch and a quarter. Okay, because we have inch and a quarter pipe, this right here is just gonna go right into there. That's gonna give us enough room. If we had to use a regular one, it might actually be too long and it wouldn't work for what we're doing. But for this application, when we put that in there, this is gonna work out should work out perfect actually. So with your ABS fittings or your PVC fittings, you're gonna have to play around with this stuff because not every situation is going to be the same. Just to let you know that, okay? Sometimes you can do this, sometimes you cannot. And that's good to go right there. We'll give this some dry time. Okay, and so now with our P-trap, this is gonna be a bit long. We're gonna take this, we're just gonna chop it off like right here to start. What you're doing is just kind of holding and then you're taking this and twisting the pipe as you cut this. That way it doesn't try to bend it or crack it or anything like that. you will be good to roll. So then we'll go right here and we'll just give our tailpiece a measure. Right there looks good. Pop the P-trap off. Okay, so now we got the extension piece on there. Just take that right up, screw that in place. Get these ones screwed in place here and we're ready to test. Okay, and then in some instances, you're actually gonna have to cut this off. And luckily, we can kind of just cut that off flush at the wall, and we have a little bit of a hole there, so we can actually put a fitting in there and run a new piece of pipe out. So these little plumb best easy stroke saws, it's a little bit difficult because of how long it is, but they really work so well. just want to get rid of that edge make sure all your stuff's out of there you can actually go ahead and take our knife here Make sure that we're able to get the whole way around this with our glue. I'm gonna scrape off a little bit of the pipe here, just to the fact that it has a little bit of texture on it, a little overspray. Now we're able to glue on an adapter and then bam, we'll be right where we wanna be. Make sure you get it pushed the whole way in. and get a little bit of a turn on it. So now we're gonna need a couple little pieces of pipe, right? Because what I have here is a regular 22 and we need to be able to connect this from hub to hub. I'm gonna measure one side of this hub and then I'm just gonna double it because I want to make this as close as possible. I'm actually using a reed cutter that cuts up to three inch pipe, right? And we're just gonna make two little close couplings. But if you didn't have one of these, the easy stroke saw works awesome.
you're going to want to take this piece because this is actually an inch and a half adapter. And then we have this little piece right here that actually is going to be an inch and a quarter by inch and a half. You can see that it's got like an extra little ring in there and it just helps fit firmly on this one. And then that can just go in there. Let's get this started. Get this put back to where we need it. We've got this piece hooked up already. Slide that right up into place. Screw this on. Tighten these all up. Everything can just be hand tight. You might have to go a little bit past that. You may want to put a little mega lock on the joints, but for the most part, this will work just like that. Just hand tight. Good night, buddy. I know it's never drained like that. So the purpose of this video was to show you an inside look at the at accordion style P-trap or extension tube that they sell that nobody should ever install because really that's what it does. That's why the code says that your drain line should be smooth walled, okay? Because it's gonna just catch stuff if it's not. And that goes for having little burrs on there too, right? If you have that kind of stuff, it's going to catch and it's just gonna to continue to get worse and worse and worse. So we had to cut it out, we had to make repair. I showed you a couple different ways to cut it out and the way that you have to fix yours might not even be one of these. You might have to do something completely different. But hit me up, hit me up on Facebook. I'd love to help you out. If you run into something that you need a little help with, please feel free, shoot me an email, hit me up on Facebook, um, Instagram, whatever. Leave me some comments, I'll happily get back to you. I really hope the video helps. You guys can please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.